everybody, welcome back to Jamea's Promo, and today we'll be talking about the latest update that happened to the Samsung One UI beta program. Now, if you're part of the United States, this update got pushed out late last night or early this morning, and this one is beta three for the United States. Now, even though there's other countries that received beta three and maybe even a beta four for the Galaxy Note 10, this one is a little bit newer than those. So this is the latest, most recent update to the Samsung One UI beta program. Now, as I read through and scrolled through all these updates and fixes, modifications, a lot of it is kind of repeat. Now, not everybody runs into the same issues, so this phone could have a different issue than the one that is sitting next to me 10 feet away, uh, but a lot of these things are pretty much repeated, which is something good, which means we're getting close to a stable update or a stable version. So that just means that this one is just gonna probably make things a little bit more stable, probably better animations, better gestures, just things working just a little bit better. So if you are a part of the beta program, check out your device right now, go inside of the settings, scroll all the way down to where it says software update, and then through here, you can go to that download and install, you'll find it. And it also comes along with the December 1st security patch, which is pretty cool for a beta version to come with a security patch of December 1st, and it is now December 10th. So that's a pretty good push and a pretty good schedule. So some of the things I'm just gonna hit on download. Now the download is complete and before we install it, let's just kind of go through a fast rundown of everything that's been changed. Issue of cutting time when setting world clock and always on display. Exception issue when pressing image attachment menu and S note. Disconnection issue while using Bluetooth headset. Um, after using DeX, certain icons on the home screen are framed and cannot be released. Problem with repeatedly, uh, repeatedly restarts while the screen is blackened and blinking. The keyboard position overlaps the position where gestures are used. Error in displaying SD card in my files. Operation error during event hover with pen and calendar week and day view. Transmission error of sound through earphone. Issue not saved when saving live message after drawing as a GIF file. Issue of lock screen color change issue after video call ends. Problems with intermittent screen off memo execution. Problem that acrylic alphabet are not displayed normally in contact and call log apply to limit the clock step by step depending on temperatures now it seems like there's a lot going on up here and it seems like there's a lot of problems but this is through all the people running into beta not everybody has these issues i've never ran into any of those the only issues i've ever ran into really that i can remember as of recently was that if i am in a uh, keyboard i'm texting somebody writing somebody on facebook whatever it is as long as the keyboard is up if a notification comes through and it pops up uh, i would have to dismiss that little uh, notification and and then bring back up my keyboard. So it was annoying when the keyboard went away if something came in and then I'd have to bring it back up to finish my sentence. Uh, so I haven't really seen any of those. Improved app entry performance, reboot occurs while playing music, no vibration when, when separating S Pen, issues where the save cancel icon did not appear while writing a, a screen off memo, app cannot run normally despite all permissions allowed, overlapping of recent apps view and apps screen, Issue where the app icon disappeared. Uh, issues of restoring lock screen default theme when it's powered off on and downloading and applying theme. So I, I, I do remember one other thing too, which is sometimes my application tray would just kind of disappear out of nowhere. Uh, and instead of me kind of re getting rid of all the cache and the data of the one UI, I would just restart my phone, turn it back on and it worked. So we're gonna go through, install it. That's everything that's been new. Uh, it's gonna go through the whole system update. So as the update finishes, just gonna play around, just make sure everything still looks pretty smooth. It, it's, you know, responsive, everything like that. I know that sometimes the gestures were ones that were, you know, a little bit, a little bit wonky at the beginning, but it's looking like, you know, it's, it's, it's operating the way it's supposed to. The animations are looking good. Let's see if these things bounce. Uh, these are still bouncing. This is doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, so for me, the animations look pretty good. It looks pretty smooth. It's just looking like it's getting to be a more stable version of a beta program. Granted, I didn't run into any of those issues this one mentioned. Uh, I know the fiance ran into an issue with Bluetooth sound and transmission sounds and stuff like that. Buzzing sounds through headsets and Bluetooth with the car. Uh, for me, I had problems with the gestures not working correctly, which has now been fixed. Uh, the other thing is when I was in 
inside of a, a keyboard. If somebody sent me a text message, the notification would basically knock down the keyboard. I'd have to dismiss it, bring this one right back up, uh, and then we were really good to go. So if any of you are a part of the beta program, head over into your updates. You have an update that got pushed out late last night, early this morning. If you're not a part of the beta program, this is just kind of a notification letting you know, hey, the stable version, the full release is getting closer and closer. I didn't really see a lot of changes or differences with all of their wording and all of their bug modifications versus the last update. So here is beta three. Other countries have already had one, but this one is a little bit newer and a little bit more uh, recent. But I hope you guys have liked this video video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you liked this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.